Hey everybody, welcome back to the Kia Hyundai channel. My name is Charlotte and today we have the beautiful 2023 Kia Soul GT Line Limited. And today we are, we are going to be focusing on tech and safety. So if you haven't seen our previous video and you wanna see a full and complete walk around with Gabby, make sure that you check that out and I'll also have it linked down below. Before we get into everything, I just wanna give a quick reminder to please like this video and to subscribe to our channel because we wanna be the first ones to give you guys Kia and Hyundai content when it comes out. And with that being said, let's get into the tech and safety review. So of course, we're gonna start on the outside of the vehicle. Uh, so first off the bat, I'm gonna have Mark zoom in, just show you the redesigned front end. It's been a little bit refreshed. We have the integrated Kia logo here. And you can see that we have beautiful and bright LED headlight units. And then on the bottom as well, you can see that we do have LED fog lights too. So these are super sharp lights. I'm actually gonna have Mark turn around and show you the wall. That way you guys can see just how sharp this cutoff is for the LEDs. My shadow might be getting in the way. <laughs> and I'm also gonna go and turn on the turn signal. Actually, I'll put hazards on. That way you can take a look at the nice, it's beeping just because the car is on and the key is not in it. <laughs> there we go. Uh, you can see that we do have these nice amber, kind of boomerang or whiplash shaped, if whiplash had a shape. <laughs> and you can see that they are nice and bright on the front too. And then also you can see your turn signal marker on the mirror too. So that is included on this vehicle. I know uh, some manufacturers and some vehicles don't include it, but it is nice to have that there. We'll go back to the front, just while I turn that off. There it is again. <laughs> and I wanna talk about a, a couple of the tech and safety features that we do get here from the front, aside from just the lights, is actually, if you look down here, this is what's called your radar plate. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna help um, pick up on the vehicles that are in front of you or around you when it comes to your lane assist features. And then also this vehicle does have forward collision avoidance assist. It has the advanced version. So if, it, if the vehicle is at risk of getting into a collision, this is gonna help work uh, to, to stop the vehicle essentially and mitigate that. On the front as well, and I'm not too sure how well it's gonna pick up on camera, but there is a camera here. So that is also gonna help with lane assist lane follow assist, and your smart cruise control. This vehicle also has highway drive assist, meaning using that camera, it's gonna pick up on the lane markers on the road, and it can actually follow the road with you as you have your cruise control enabled. So that is something that is a really cool feature to point out too. And on this one, you can see the camera a little bit better than others. Over the side, we'll take a look at the wheels too. These are new with the uh, GT Line Limited trim. I guess that technically counts as safety because you need wheels, right? <laughs> and then we'll come around to the rear. Again, on this vehicle, we have the boomerang tail lights. They are LED tail lights as well. So you can see that we have the nice classic shape for the sole. And then I'll go and put the hazards on and I'm also gonna put my foot on the brake. That way you guys can see what it looks like. and be prepared for the vehicle to beep. There it is. <laughs> How many times can the vehicle beep? And then as part of safety, we'll show what's in the back seat. Lift up the cargo cover. You do have a real spare tire. So that is something that's very nice because a lot of smaller vehicles, they typically don't include that. They just have a mobility kit. So it's nice that that is actually included in this vehicle too. We'll close this up too. And then we can come around to the side just to give you guys another view of the side profile of the vehicle. And then we'll be able to hop inside. All right, so now I am in the best seat in the house in the Kia Soul, and I'm gonna have Mark give an overview of the dash. That way you guys can kind of orientate yourselves uh, with what I'm seeing as well. And one note about the mirrors, I forgot to mention this when we were outside, is that they are power adjustable they are not automatic but you can of course power them with the uh with the controls here on the armrest for the driver so now 
let's talk about what we see. Of course, in this vehicle, you do have the bigger size screen, which is really nice. And we can actually go to setup. And this is going to show us a lot of our different safety features. So setup, general, oh, not general, I meant vehicle. <laughs> they both have gears. And this we can see driving convenience will show us kind of our first uh, step in our safety features. So like I mentioned, this vehicle does have highway drive assist. Uh, so that is one of the features that it does have that is not available on the trims below. It's just on the GT Line Limited, which is really nice. And then also it has highway auto speed change. So if you're on the highway and all of a sudden the speed limit drops down, say it's 90 kilometers an hour, and then it drops down to 70, maybe there's construction or something like that, it will help automatically adjust your speed in your cruise control as well. It also has speed limit warning. So you can do speed limit assist, speed li limit warning, which is what this vehicle is currently set to, or you can also disable it as well. Um, so of course, speed limit warning is going to alert you when you are going over the uh, speed limit. And then speed limit assist, if you want something a little bit more active, it will adjust the vehicle's speed based on the speed limit as well. Your warning volume, of course, that's going to be um, just the notification or the sound of the notification of alerts that you get. And then driver attention warning. If you've ever seen this little cup of coffee or a cup of tea, if that's your cup of tea, <laughs> on your dash, what that is, is that is to alert you that the vehicle in front of you is in fact driving away. This is something that I find really handy when I'm in the drive through because usually when you're in the drive through and you're at a complete stop, you're looking in your bag, you're trying to get your wallet out, you're trying to get ready to accept, you know, your food or your drink or whatever. And this will give you a nice little alert just that the vehicle ahead of you is moving and you are free to move as well. Now we can flip into driving safety. So like I said, this does have some forward safety features on it as well. Um, there we go. We've got your lane safety there too. So automatically assisting with steering to help the vehicle from preventing the lane. That is where that camera on the front is gonna come into play. And that's also gonna work with your cruise control and your highway drive assist too. Blind spot safety is another huge thing. So providing a warning when you do have a vehicle that's in your blind spot. On the mirrors, there is a little emoticon, or not emoticon, a little icon <laughs> that will be illuminated when there is a vehicle that's in your blind spot. And then also, if you put your signal on, it's going to beep at you, letting you know that there is a vehicle there. And then if it's beeping at you, the alert is on, and you still try to get over, the vehicle actually does have the capacity to bring you back into your lane. That way you're not sideswiping anyone, et cetera, et cetera. That way everyone's being nice and safe on the road. Exit safety, this is always an interesting one, uh, but what exit safety is all about is if you are parked on the street and you're in a very busy area, say we're in Toronto or something like that, and I'm parked and there's traffic here, if the vehicle senses that there is something coming and that it's unsafe, like a vehicle, it actually will prevent you from getting out just to make sure that you're safe, to make sure you're not losing a door, make sure you're not losing yourself or anything like that too. The last area we'll dip into, of course, is going to be parking safety, which is going to be your rear cross traffic. So what this is, it's, it's the same thing on the front, but if it senses that there is something behind you, it actually does have the capacity to brake for you to help mitigate a collision, whether that be on the front with rear cross traffic safety alert or in the rear, of course, with rear cross traffic safety alert. Then, of course, for other safety features is we always have our backup cameras. So I'm actually just going to put this vehicle into reverse. So I love Kia's backup cameras. I really like the way that they do them uh, because I find that they are, it's a very clear picture. The other thing that's nice is that you also have the lines here showing you your turning radius. And of course, as you twist the wheel and as the vehicle moves, it's going to adjust to show you where the end of the vehicle is going to end up. So that is something that's very nice to have. Put it back in park out of reverse then we can move out of here. So moving on to a couple more tech features, something that is really interesting that this vehicle has is it does have, let's go back, sound mood lamp. So what this does is it's turned on right now. I'll have Mark show it on his door if it's a bit easier, but up here and both down here, it's pretty bright out. So it might be hard to see is we actually have some ambient lighting, some color changing lighting that's gonna um, play with the music as well. So you have two different options. You can do a color theme or you can do a bit of a glow. Currently it's set to a glow with super red. 
but we can change it to a green and that might show up a little bit better. Yeah, that shows a little bit better. It's super bright outside, so. <laughs> but that is always a fun feature to have when you're in the Kia Soul because the Kia Soul, let's be real, it's an unconventional shape as is, but it's super comfortable. So I feel like with the way the vehicle is designed, you have to have something on the interior too to make it super fun and funky. So I think uh, having the sound mood lamp definitely does that. And then, like I said, just to show all of the options here for glow, you've got blue flight, peaceful forest, dreamy purple, violet cloud, orange delight, sounds like a drink, golden insight, refreshing sea, super red. And then you have the different themes that you can use too. So party time, woo woo. Not to be confused with, hey, yo, these are some of my favorites. <laughs> traveling, romance, midnight city, and also cafe. So interesting feature. It's fun to have. Um, something else I'll show in this vehicle is that it does have quiet mode. So what this does is when this is selected, the radio and media, it's really only going to be played in the front of the cabin as opposed to in the rear. That way, if you have kids or a sleeping baby or something like that in the back seat, it's going to be a lot quieter for them. Or maybe you just have friends who are taking a snooze in the back seat too and want their peace and quiet. So I like that they included that on a smaller vehicle too, because a lot of the times it's on vehicles like the Telluride or the Carnival, uh, vehicles that are typically, you know, family style or something like that. But the Soul is definitely very family friendly, very people friendly. So it's nice that it's in this vehicle too. You do have HD radio, so you have the capacity for that in this vehicle. And then also Kia Connect. So you can see on our mirror too, That'll show you that we've got Kia Connect, so your roadside, your emergency assistance, everything is there too. You do have a uh, dual climate control, which is very nice. You can sync it or not, depending on what is best for you. And then, oh, I'm actually going to turn that off. There we go. And then also we can take a look at the steering wheel too. So of course you do have the fully digital dash on this vehicle, which is really nice to have. It's nice, big and bright. And it does change as you adjust your drive modes as well. So your drive modes are down here. And on this vehicle, we've got normal and we have sport mode. So very fun for the Kia Soul. Uh, the red design of sport mode also goes great with the red interior. And the fact that this is a GT Line Limited, a very sporty vehicle as is. So you might catch me driving this vehicle in sport mode for a little bit. <laughs> um, some other tech features. This isn't really tech, but it is one of my favorite features. So I'm going to point it out you've got a sunglass holder so many uh, of our newer products specifically SUVs don't have a sunglass holder they neglect this and I still need a place to put my sunglasses so that's excellent we do have a sunroof too so that's very nice I won't open it just because there is some water on it and I've already had my shower for the day sorry about that it looks like we were having a little bit of camera troubles you do have your wireless phone charger and how you know that it is working is that this little light here is going to be illuminated orange. And then when the phone is fully charged, it will be green. You do have a USB-C, a USB, and a 12 volt. So that's very nice. And then something that you get on the GT Line Limited that is not in the other trims is also going to be your electronic parking brake. So to engage it, you just pull up. And then also to release. You just press on the brake pedal, press it down again. That way it knows you're braking. Of course, right next to the parking brake is going to be your auto hold. So what this does is when you push down on auto hold to keep it engaged, and you can see that on the dash it says auto hold, what it will do is when you're at a stop, you can act, it'll actually hold you at the stop with your foot completely off the brake. Again, this is something that I like to use in the drive-through. Again, because uh, foot fatigue is something that can be very, very real. All right, everyone. So that's going to conclude doing our tech and safety walk around of this vehicle. Again, if you want to see a full in-depth walk around, I'm going to have that linked in our description box below. Since we just got this vehicle on the lot, we're doing lots with it. Uh, before we wrap up, I just want to show you guys the key fob. So the key fob, it is the nice sleek style, very comfortable in your pocket. And on it, of course, you've got lock, unlock, and your panic button. You also do have remote start with this vehicle. So if I were to lock it, and then hold down on the remote start button. You can see that it starts on up for you. So that's a pretty good way to end this video, I think. We've got the lights going behind me. We got lots going on. <laughs> um, as always, everyone, thank you so much for watching these videos. 
Um, we are a real dealership located here in Brantford, Ontario. So if you have any Kia questions, we are gonna have a link in our description box below. So please make sure that if you have questions or want to buy a Kia, that we can help you out with that. Same thing if you're interested in Hyundai product, we do have two dealerships in our group that are uh, that deal exclusively with Hyundai vehicles and we can connect you with them to answer your questions as well or to get you into the vehicle that you'd like. As always, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.